this video, I'm gonna show you a really good route combination out of the trips tied in offset formation. This can also be applied to the regular trips tied in formation. We're in the Jets playbook today. This could be applied to Jets, could be applied to Colts, it could be applied to Bills, Patriots, any formation that you're gonna be utilizing trips tied in. And, and the beauty of this is this is a little bit of a newer route combination. We are kind of in March now, uh, March, April, May. And so, this is kind of towards the end of the season where you have route apprentices, route abilities, which makes this route combination significantly more effective. OK, um, you kind of do need a route apprentice. You need an outside apprentice to run this. And it is really, really effective. It's really good for a lot of the ways that most people are going to try to stop the trips tied in. So we're going to get into it. You can literally do it out of any play in the formation. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to do it out of the play verticals uh, in the trips tied in offset. You could also do this out of the play verticals in trips tied in. Okay. So the reason we're calling this out of the play verticals is we have two key routes that are uh, really helpful for us. We have this inverted streak here to the middle trips receiver. We also have this little crosser um, that has this little sharp cut over the middle that you can throw if you have a slot apprentice or hot master. You can obviously put him on a slot apprentice post, and that's fine as well. But what we're going to show you here, and then we also have this like kind of stock drag. The cool part about this specific verticals is you don't have to really drag the tight end. If you were in regular trips, you would have to drag the tight end. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are just going to put our outside receiver over here on the left side on a C route or corner route. And what that is, is as you can see, it's going to basically be a rounded C route, uh, rounded corner route to the outside. The rest of the routes on this play, with the exception of the streak, are completely up to you. So if you want to put the running back on a Texas, you certainly can, you can create a little trail concept there. If you wanna put the running back on a wheel route to kind of create some more space over the middle of the field, you can do that. If you wanna block the running back for extra protection, you can do that. What we've mainly done here is we've created a high-low read on the left-hand side of the screen. So what you're gonna see is this streak is going to clear out all of the deep zones, and you can throw this basically on the sideline for a nice little possession catch. A lot of people in this game, they're basically relying on their deep out zone KOs, they're playing cover four, they're playing cover three, and then they're blitzing you from that look. So the beauty of this is, as you can see, they automatically just basically take that streak every single time, and then you're gonna be able to throw this, this C route. Now, one little caveat that I did want to say is I do think in general trips tied in as a whole formation does work best with the trips to the wide side of the field. So what that means is if we're on the right hash mark, we want the three receivers to be to the left. If we're on the left hash mark, then we would want the three receivers to all be on uh, the right. So as you can see here, again, I can just throw the C route over and over and over again against cover three or cover four. So what people are going to do is they're going to go to a couple different coverages that they can do. One of the things that you're going to see is they might go into this cover two. Um, now, depending on how they're running their cover two, if they are pressing their cover two, I would be kind of surprised, especially if it's a decent player that you're playing. But if they're pressing a cover two against trips tied in, like you won the game right there, and I'll explain why. So number one, we could just quick snap this and throw this fade to the left, but I wanna show it within the route combination because obviously you wouldn't be expecting that. So let's say they are in cover two. You'll see the C route is gonna get way over the top of that cloud because clouds in this game, if you press a cloud flat, it really, it might as well just be a hard flat. It just does not get the depth that you would want it to get, especially if you're trying to defend some of these deeper corner routes. So what's more likely to happen is that they're going to back off that corner over there on the left side, and they might do something such as um, something such like like a Mabel coverage where they're going to do a double flat there to the to the left, and then it's going to also determine some of the things that they might do to the right side. And typically, from what I have seen, it's going to probably be something like this where they're going to roll the coverage, or if they do play a double Mabel cover two, we'll talk about that in just a second but I just wanna show what's gonna happen if you do get a double flat. So basically what you're gonna get here, if they do double flat, that deep cloud flat will guard that route. But then what you'll see here is early on when that tight end cuts across the middle, he's gonna be open. He's got two different points at which he can be thrown and they're gonna require two different zones from the defense to be able to defend that. So let's say for example, and again, it, it kind of depends on what they're doing with their users and stuff. But this is why one of my favorite things to do is to, it just depends a little bit on the user, right? So let's say this is the user and the user is going to take 
He's going to basically play almost like a mid read, and he's going to take that deep crosser that's coming over the middle. Okay, if that's the case, and, and again, I would just you know if you if you put the running back on a Texas route, it's even better because there's so much traffic coming over the middle. Um, but we'll just block him for this. So, anyways, you see he's going to go, and then we can just check down right here, juke up field, and get an easy five ten yards. Now, the more common adjustment that I have seen people do a lot is basically a cover three cloud uh, type of defense, and they're going to have a vertical hook sitting in the middle. Now, this three rec for our purposes, because he will match, I'm actually going to just spy him just because I think it's going to showcase what I'm trying to show with the vertical hook specifically a little bit better. So what you're going to see here as I just fat finger the, the running back, uh, what you're going to see is that tight end will get open. Let me show that one more time. Sorry about that. So let's see here. Cover through cloud. We'll, do we'll leave the three rec on. We can we can show it with the three rec. Now, the cool part also is you can drag the tight end. You don't have to leave him on that like stock little kind of almost slant route. You can drag him, and he'll come out a little shorter. See how the three rec will match him? You can still throw it because it's basically man coverage, but it's not as good if they do have the three rec on the field, which is, but, but most people won't. What most people are going to do is they're going to take this defender and they'll probably man him up on triangle. And I'll explain why in just a minute. And then they're going to have a vertical hook. Okay. So if they do have a vertical hook and a cloud flat to defend that deep C route, that's where we just want to check down to our tight end, especially if the user stays in the middle of the field. And I'll show you what happens if the user leaves the middle of the field. So let's say that the user on this play decides, hey, I'm going to leave the middle of the field because I want to make sure that you can't throw this tight end drag. So I'm going to see the drag coming underneath, and I'm just going to basically match onto the drag myself, and I'm going to take that away. If they do that, um, then, the, then what you're going to be able to do is when this route comes over the middle, kind of right in here, you can throw it and possession catch it. Now, that was a terrible example because the three rec, the three rec is just. This is why the three rec is so, such a such a good zone because it does stuff like this. Let me kind of clear this out a little bit more, and we'll use a vert hook as well. So, and then also if you use a slot apprentice post, I'd also show that as well. So let's say you use a slot apprentice post. The beauty of this is it's going to cut sharp over the middle, and that deep third will never be able to get there to defend that route. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to show for this, and we really haven't gotten into this too much because I think it's a little bit of a difficult throw to make consistently, but let's say that they don't man up the triangle receiver. So we have a vertical hook here, but we're not going to man him up. If they don't man up the triangle receiver on this play, then what you're going to be able to do is at the snap of the ball, you can just throw this right there and possession catch it and get down quickly. This is even more like this is going to be even more of a of an open throw if they were to do something like this, where they're going to put this guy on a flat, put this guy on a cloud flat, especially for this coverage, because this coverage is one of the more popular uh, coverage, as you will see when you're running trips is they'll do something like this. Well, the beauty of this is you see here, we can just throw this inside possession, catch it. And the KO is the only thing you have to worry about, of course, but. That's pretty much any route you throw right now in the game. So, anyways, I love this play. I think this is one of the better routes, uh, better better route combos. As I, I don't know how I threw a pick there. Um, this is one of the better route combos and trips that I'm aware of right now. And I, it's very simple. All you're doing is just putting this guy on a C route. You can block your running back, and then you can just go. You can just snap the ball. And if they're in cover three or cover four, this is almost never going to be uh, covered. And the cool part also in Madden 24 is the sideline catch animations significantly favor the offense. So if you throw this super far outside, you see there a lot of times he's going to catch it, fall out of bounds. So that's another little added element of this play. I think this is really good for attacking, you know, kind of the trip side of the formation. And obviously there's a ton of great stuff to attack the tight end side. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get my entire trips tight end offensive ebook or our Colts or Jet stuff that kind of has a complimentary trips tight end, make sure that you're in the Patreon. It's only $10. You get access to everything over there, all of the ebooks, all the updates, everything for just $10. Link is going to be down in the description below.